Open up my class in Canvas if you don't have it already done. And then um, also, if you've started a, your project, which hopefully you have, go ahead and grab that so we can share them. OK, um, so today I'm just going to briefly go over what you're supposed to be doing again. Um, and then I'm hoping that some of you will share your work um, because, again, something that you guys are missing um, by being online is you are not able to see what other students are working on and kind of bounce ideas off that way. I'm happy to share my work as Oh, if. awesome. Thank you, Grace. And if anybody else has it work that they would like to share, please um, go ahead and write me in chat. Um, so first, remember, if you didn't have any ideas, so what I did is I just clicked on Studio Week 9, the one that doesn't have any points under it. Um, and here are some different resources. They're sort of tailored um, to what my students in class are doing. So like um, they're limited to printmaking, drawing, or painting. Um, but you guys can do anything you want with whatever materials they have uh, or you have. Um, but these two printmaking uh, videos are doing printmaking with kind of found stuff. So if you, as long as you have some sort of paint, you could do one of these printmaking um, options if you would like to. Um, then there's, you know, also realistic and abstract for both uh, or for all three of these options that I've given you here. Thank you, Anaya, that would be awesome. So that's just if you get stuck for ideas. But remember, you could do this digitally, you could be on do this on Minecraft, you could make a stop motion animation, you could um, pretty much anything. Um, it just needs to be three hours uh, of work, okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so if you have makeup work that you need to turn in, this is also um, an opportunity to get that work turned in this week. And also then that gives you uh, a lower assignment threshold, okay? So my examples are down here for what that means. So if you owe me just one project and you turn that in this week, then you would turn in a two and a half hour project for the studio week, okay? If you owe me three things and you turn those in this week done, um, then it would be an hour and a half project this week, okay? Um, Adelaide. Okay. No, you're all caught up. Um, so does anyone have any questions about the studio week? Um, Grace, do you want to? Yeah, so this is mine. I spent like three hours and a half doing it because I basically made people cough, but I had to define the lines to make it look like separate pieces. Yeah. They're all the same. Yeah, that's really cool. And that kind of, uh, sorry, that kind of technique too, where she was coloring in those, um, the, the diamonds or squares, um, you know, you could do that while you're watching Netflix or something. Too. Yeah, I was listening to YouTube while I was doing it. That one looks. Um, and then I didn't like how I have the tile and things. So I decided I'd make another one and get rid of the tile and just use the. Uh, so it looks like it's moving now. Cover it. Yeah, and so you can see that I'm at least starting to work on it. Probably That's cool. Last night. So this one might take me a tad bit longer, but. Yeah, well, awesome. I'm glad that you got that into it. Um, and Grace is also doing something cool there that I'm hoping that all of you will do during at least one of these studio things where um, you do something and then if, if you don't like something about it, then you just do another one or change it up, you know, things like that. That's awesome. Thank that you. means you're, um, you're learning a lot when you do things like that. Um, so I just had a question of, so you can do anything you want. Yeah, you can do anything you want. Um, it just has to be three hours of work. So the other thing about that is 
it could be, say you're trying to build a sculpture and you spent three hours and it just doesn't work. It's not what you're, you had in your head and you're just frustrated. Once you hit that three hour mark, you can stop, photograph it and explain to me in the evaluation that this is what you were thinking and this is what you ended up with. Um, that's okay too, okay? so. What I mean there is that it doesn't have to be a finished project in the end, it has to be three hours, show three hours of work. Um, it doesn't have to be a success either, okay? Because you learn a lot from failing um, too. So, and by failing, I mean like you tried something and, it, and you tried it different ways and it just never worked. That you, you learn a lot from that, okay? Um, so keep that in mind as you're working too. The, the main thing is that it's, well, that it's artwork, but then that you've spent three hours creating whatever it is that you turn in. And it might be one thing, it might be multiple things. Okay. Um, this is Anaya's project. Ooh, what are you, that's beautiful. What are you drawing on, Anaya? It looks like maybe plexiglass. That's what I was thinking. It looks like a glass piece of work. Oh yeah, she said it's glass. That's awesome. A student made me something like that um, years ago. Frida Kahlo is my favorite. And she painted Frida Kahlo um, on glass. And then on the front of it has flowers in her hair. that are actually like, um, like three dimensional coming out. That's really awesome that you started. Oh, wow. It sounds beautiful. On your own too. These are some things that I've had students do in class. So it's painted on a transparency, like for an overhead. And then we put a thing in the background. It's really cool. And something that Anaya knows, but you guys might not realize is you have to paint backwards. So you start with the, the details. So these students, I had them start with the Sharpie and then they paint the little details over the top and then see how the whole back of it is almost entirely pink and brown and that's it. So then you move out to like the larger areas. That's really cool that you started working that way. Does anybody have something else they would like to share? Class are doing a wide variety of things. Many of them, um, you guys seem to be able to pick one thing that's bigger than what my other students are doing and work longer on, on that one thing. Um, he's drawing a basketball player. This is taking him a long time. You can tell from the expression, this guy is like really happy, really mad, really something. It kind of reminds me that he's shocked. Like how'd they beat us or something? Yeah. Or like my wife's giving, you know, yeah. I was in the hospital while well, I'm in the middle of a game. What the heck happened? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have some other students doing printmaking. So this, oh, it's upside down. This is a like dragging kind of thing. And then today they'll cut back into it and do a second layer. Don't forget then once you're done, once you're about halfway done, you're going to go um, in and open up this sheet, remember, and there's a, um, there's a set of questions that you're going to have someone else answer about your project for you. And then there's, when you're done, a set of questions to have someone answer, uh, or sorry, to have you answer yourself about your project. Okay.